most of my filming I'm doing not on Instagram because I don't have reception out here, but um, it is wild. I've flown one mission so far. We've got hangars full of people delivering supplies, unloading, weighing things, loading up airplanes. Airplanes one after the other in line getting loaded with stuff and flying out to wherever it's needed. I just flew diapers and everything out to this airport that needed diapers and baby formula and uh, wipes and things like that, medical supplies. Loaded up the Mooney to the brim, flew it out there. And now I'm back. I'm going to keep flying as long as I possibly can today. And I'll probably go home sometime tonight. But just amazing. The people out here, the volunteers, absolutely awesome. Getting goosebumps seeing everybody help out. It's freaking awesome. So excited. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another video. If you guys have been following along on this channel, you guys already know I love to fly, and I especially love to fly when I have a mission. So that could be anything from flying to pick up friends and take them places, flying for vacation, stuff like that. But I've really found enjoyment in these 501c3 charities that you're able to fly for. So things like Angel Flight, which I've made a couple of videos in the past, and most recently I have flown for Aerobridge. And after Hurricane Helene devastated Asheville and those areas in North Carolina, I went online and started looking for how I can help. So I was going on Facebook looking for, is there a way that we can fly supplies and things like that? Ended up finding Aerobridge. And um, so I didn't strap any cameras to the plane, but I tried to capture as much of it as I possibly could with my cell phone when I wasn't actually flying. Good morning, everybody. Up here 8,000 feet on our way up to North Carolina. Gonna head to Statesville, pick up supplies and deliver them to people that need it in uh, the western part of the state. So I'll take you guys along for the ride and uh, share as much of this as I can, but really excited to be able to help out. Uh, you know I love flying, so if I can fly and help, that's just a bonus. Um, so, beautiful up here this morning. Weather's reporting a low IFR right now, so I've got a couple of VFR targets to divert to if I need to, but we're gonna try to shoot the approach and um, get into Statesville and start delivering supplies. So when I flew up there, I had no idea what to expect. Um, I knew I was going to be flying and grabbing supplies and flying to places. When I showed up, um, I had signed up for some missions online the night before, and when I got there, it was, I want to say, I want to say it's a madhouse, but there were people everywhere, volunteers everywhere, people showing up to donate. People lined up to donate and help. Look at that, at the airport. Planes, helicopters, everybody. Amazing. I'm absolutely blown away, you guys. Um, I just filled up my plane, took 25 gallons of fuel. People are donating money to the FBO. People are showing up and donating cash to buy the pilot's fuel. My entire fuel was covered today. I brought my credit card fully ready to pay for it, and someone bought it for me. Just fucking amazing. I love it. Um, to people weighing items so we all knew how much um, weight was going in the planes. It was amazing to see all these people out there helping. Wow. You'll hear me say a couple of times in these videos that it took while I was there that I was getting goosebumps. I actually was. Um, just seeing all these people show up to help and, and donate time and money, the lines of cars and people um, just willing willing to help, trying to give what they could. It was, it was an amazing sight to see. Okay, I was signed up for a different mission, but I got here and they said they have an urgent need for baby supplies, formula, and medical stuff that needs to go to a different airport. So I am going to do that instead. Um, luckily, that's only a 25 minute flight, so I can make a couple of runs back and forth to that. But look at all these people here helping. I get goosebumps, goosebumps. Kids out here helping, everyone's out here. Water truck, trucks delivering water for people. It's amazing, man. Arrow Bridge, that's what I'm flying for today. Just amazing. Start thinking about flying four, five, and six. Uh, right. Bring me several boxes Deliveries upon deliveries here at Statesville. No way they have enough pilots. All right, look, all right, look at this. That Mooney is packed. 
back is completely packed. Underweight, still underweight. You ran out of space before you ran out of weight. So diapers, tarps, oil for uh, equipment, everything you need. Now I'm coming back for more. This is awesome. Most of the flying was out of Statesville Airport in North Carolina. Um, I flew a few missions for them in and out of a couple airports, but someone actually directly reached out to me on Facebook saying that they needed help. Um, out of another airport in North Carolina, which was almost clear across the state. So after I was done with flying the missions for Aerobridge, I texted this person and said, hey, I'm going to come help you guys. And then I got to be done for the day. I was I was approaching like nine hours of flying that day. So I flew all the way out to the eastern side of North Carolina, met up with these people who um, were trying to get diapers and baby wipes and things, supplies to a specific person who really needed them in North Carolina, uh, on the other side of North Carolina near, near Asheville. So I flew out there, loaded up, and flew one final mission into uh, this airport. Uh, I don't recall the name of the airport, but I remember the identifier it was 7 Alpha 8. All right, guys, this is my last load for the day. A little worried about that propane tank, but we should be all right. Mostly baby supplies again. We're headed up to 7 Alpha 8, which is a mountain airport. So fortunately, we do have some weather coming in, so there's a chance we're not going to make it in there. So once we get closer, we'll, we'll figure it out. And if we can't, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff, but maybe I'll have to fly back another day. Uh, I'm getting pretty tired though, so I'm going to call it here after this uh, this one and head back home. We've got about a 40 minute flight ahead of me here, but uh, what a day. What an incredible day. A lot of great people. Um, and just, it feels awesome, man. But I am beat. It's a lot of flying. I don't know how many hours I'm going to log today, but it'll be probably seven, eight, nine hours, something like that. So a lot of flying. This is my last leg of the day, last drop off here. We're at, uh, I don't even know where I'm at, I'm in the mountains somewhere. A little 3,000 foot runway in the mountains, beautiful here. That's it, I'm gonna get fuel and I'm gonna head home. Awesome day. Amazing. Um, but again, everywhere I flew, all of these destination airports where I was taking supplies to, it was amazing to see the people there that were just there to help. One of the airports I showed up to, I don't know if it was a school or a church, but it was all kids um, waiting at the airport to unload airplanes. There's lines of airplanes. We all, we would just pull up. The kids would come out, unload the airplane, and go back. Just unloaded at Statesville. Or no, not Statesville. Where are we? Rutherford. Rutherford. Lisa was my co-pilot. Helped me unload. Another Mooney there unloading stuff. So many people out here helping you guys. Amazing. A couple other airports, it was just uh, other random volunteers. There were people with personal helicopters flying around, um, planes everywhere. It was it was it was amazing. It was just both both seeing how many people were there to help, and then just aviation wise, it was wild to see all of these airplanes, civilian aircraft coming in and out of this airport, and really how organized it was. Just look at this. All these guys are here to help. Moonies, bonanzas. People without planes. Goosebumps, man. What do you have? Like? Two point six four five. Colin, you five, know what? Five point five. I would weigh them. They never come out to fail. I can tell you now. They don't. Dog food does not come out to fail either. Y'all get ripped off. It says eighteen pounds of dog food, and you get like thirteen. <laughs> five point nine. Okay, that's all we need. We're done. Oh. We're at four hundred point three pounds. Are you perfect? Good? I'm good. <laughs> All right, it's the last load. Looks scary, I know, but we still have full flight control movement. That's dropped down. They needed dog food batteries at this airport, so that's what we're going. The back was the hardest. We no passengers, so the weight and balance, we had to move the CG up far, farther forward. So we're in limits. Let's get out of here. I know there's a lot of rumors and stories going around on social media. I don't know how or if any of that is true. All I can tell you is what I saw when I was there, I saw none of that. You know, from what I saw, I just saw people volunteering their time, um, good hearted people trying to help out. And I was telling people the story and I said, man, it really restored my faith in humanity because there's so much negativity. I pay way too much attention to it, I would say, but just just seeing that, um, it, it, it restored it for me. It was it was it was amazing to see. Like I said, it was it was gave me goosebumps. It felt 
it felt amazing to be a part of. Um, people were thanking me for it. Do not thank me. It was a, a privilege of mine to be a part of that. Um, I, I absolutely knew I had to go up there and help. I wanted to do that. I wanted to be a part of it. I love flying. I love helping. I just wanted to get up there. Um, if you guys want to thank anybody, drop a comment for all the folks on the ground out there who are volunteering their time, 90 degree weather, driving in and out of these places. Um, they are the actual heroes in all of this, right? We're just pilots. We get to fly. We're going to do it anyway. So um, what a great experience. Um, hopefully I can get back up there. I'm going to try. I know that they're closing down some of the missions. There's some some stuff going on that I have to verify before I can head back up there to make sure that, that our help is still needed. Uh, Self-deploying to disaster zones as a civilian, sometimes you can do more harm than good. So it's important that I do a little bit more research before I head back up there. Now that they've cleared some of the roads and the military's in there, I wanna make sure that, that we're still needed. If we are, I'm gonna try to head back up there. So again, unplanned video did not have any cameras appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like and subscribe you can follow me on instagram if you want to all that jazz we'll catch you guys in the next one peace all right guys that is it back home at somerville gotta get the plane put away i'm beat but we're back home we're safe what an experience